What is a financial system? It is an arrangement where people deposit their money into financial institutions like banks, insurance companies, stock exchanges etc. to earn interest and safeguard their money. These financial institutions in turn lend this money to other borrowers as loans and charge them interest on the capital borrowed. These institutions also invest this money into different profitable financial assets, markets or other investment options they deem suitable. In this way, money exchanges hands and is circulated in the economy. There is nothing in today's world that can be brought without money or any other form of consideration. We all need money for our survival, and hard work doesn't necessarily ensure that we earn a decent amount. Inflation rates around the world are at an all-time high. Many basic necessities like housing, education and healthcare are increasingly becoming unaffordable. The rich are becoming richer, and the poor are becoming poorer. The middle class between the two is working hard and struggling to make ends meet. Failing financial systems contribute to increased rates of global unemployment. Unemployment further leads to rise in suicide and other crimes. The financial crisis of 2007 and 2008 is considered the most serious financial crisis since the Great Depression. It all began in the US with the fall of Lehman Brothers on 15 September 2008 and spread to the rest of the world resulting in the subsequent international banking crisis. Various governments stepped in with massive bailout packages to prevent these institutions from going under and further damaging the economy. Though a few of these institutions were allowed to fail, the governments prevented the collapse of other large banks, which continue to operate even today. This financial crisis was followed by the European debt crisis which began with a deficit in Greece in late 2009 followed by Iceland. The question is, for how long will the governments be able to sustain the bubble created by the whole system through extending bailouts and stimulus? How long before it bursts leading to irreparable damage and collapse of the world economies? Isn't this entire virtual setup too vulnerable? What do you think could save us from the vagaries of financial markets and the system itself? What is the future of the current financial system? Do you think the world economies would be able to bounce back again if there is another global crisis fueled by COVID pandemic or any other factor? Now, imagine a scenario where money doesn't exist, all a person needs to buy a commodity is a good deed. Imagine there is a virtual account maintained for every individual. The moment a person does wrong, the account gets debited by a certain amount depending upon the seriousness of the misdemeanor. The moment a person helps someone or does something good, his account gets credited. Wouldn't all individuals in such a world be compelled to do good and be at their best behavior at all times? Who will be richer? Who will get poorer? Don't you think it would be an amazing place to live in? Imagine living in a world where people have no fear of getting murdered, robbed, raped, cheated etc. Fearlessness in humans would help unlock more creative intelligence. In the present scenario, wouldn't a wishful and idealistic world working on some kind of a conscience meter based on AI algorithm be our answer to a better and more secure future. Don't we all secretly want to escape this rat race and lead peaceful lives? Doesn't humankind deserve more? Do let us know your thoughts.